Oh, oh. <clears throat> hey, right now we're gonna check out some straight up evil demon satanic games. Boy, you bit it. Fat out of here. Everybody, please, we are so close to 500,000 subscribers. So if you wanna help the channel get there, just do it now. Click that subscribe button. And yeah, comment down below something evil. You can put your sister, you can put your iguana, or you can put your mama. Let me know. Hey, let's go. Ain't nothing harmful gonna be in here for me. It's just a haunted house. Oh, what was that? Mommy! <laughs> he said mommy! Hey, I say that two sides. Okay, I'll stop. Hell! What? Definitely just going. Oh. Turn around, man. We got freaking walking mannequins down here. Turns out we're just in like the back of the store of JCPenney. Oh, <laughs> oh she really twitching like that. No, not in your life. That mannequin's a little thick. Shoot God, it. There's a switch over there. How do we get that? I can't just literally walk up to this mannequin, can I? Ooh! Okay, that. Okay, the mannequin is stuck. Oh my god, I don't think that's normal, but okay, I'm gonna push the switch now. Yo, 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 yo. Ah! Oh, You're done, you man! Put in my boy like a football. But why did you let it touch you? Dummy of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, here's your award. If you see that mannequin coming at you, uh, it's time to go. Don't just stand there like a dummy. That mannequin's looking like it wants to eat your booty. And not in a good way. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Have you ever seen The Crooked Man? <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> Sorry, man. You cannot be starting conversations like that. Have you ever seen The Crooked Man? <laughs> I have not. About the disturbing lore behind a classic horror game antagonist, The Crooked Man. Major spoilers for the game ahead. The Crooked Man used to be a man named Duke McGahan. And before he became the Crooked Man, Duke's life was filled with sorrow. His mother died when he was a boy, he failed to become a lawyer, and his love ended up leaving him. This left him completely depressed with major feelings of abandonment. The combination of all of these things caused Duke to unalive himself. And this created the vengeful spirit known as the Crooked Man. The other characters you meet in the game are actually physical representations of Duke's past life. They represent his feelings of failure, his abandonment. And just like many other stories of vengeful spirits, these feelings are what keeps the Crooked Man around. Now, the concept for the Crooked Man itself was based on a nursery rhyme. It's called the Crooked Man, and I think it's one of the Mother Goose nursery rhymes. I found a few different versions with slightly altered wording. Wait, what? That's how you end your stories? Yeah, you crazy. You suck. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It goes like this. Have you seen the Crooked Man? It's a man who's... Crooked. Uh, 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 all right, all right. It wasn't much better, I know. Bro, what is going on with your neck in the background? You look like you're about to eat a taco. Just, mmm. That new grilled cheese taco from Taco Bell? We all gonna be the crooked man eating that. Just, uh, yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing. Crooked man, my booty crack. Oh my God, keep going. Don't look back. <laughs> Run, girl. It's kind of tempting though. It saved my progress, so what? what's the worst that can happen? Your mama. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Don't tempt me with a good time, Rev. Don't tempt me with a good time. Oh, I'll that tempt you with a good time. Take that literally. <laughs> that face, though. <gasps> oh my God. Oh! You see what happens, girl, when you go investigating? Look at you. Okay, lesson learned. You're stupid. Jeez. Why didn't you listen to me? You just love going down creepy hallways and walking. Don't walk, run to the exit. How many times have people left you on red? A lot? Yeah, I figured. Why are you making that face like you're possessed? I did not know your mouth opened that wa wide. Okay, I knew, but <clears throat> yeah. Close your mouth, cause it's rude, all right? I can literally smell your breath from here. What'd you have? Eggs and onions? <laughs> Come on now. Have you heard of Kashima? This is an urban legend about a ghost of a woman with no legs who haunts school bathrooms. Why? What is up with these bathrooms? The legend goes that one night she was attacked by a group of men who then left her for dead. She tried calling for help, but nobody heard her. So she began crawling, trying to find someone to help her. She then crawled onto a train track and collapsed. A train then came along and ran her over cutting her in half and killing her. Her body was severed at the waist. Ever since then, her vengeful spirit wanders the world, searching for her missing legs. She is mainly encountered in school bathrooms, but she may also appear in your own bathroom in the middle of the night. They say after you hear this story that she will appear to you within one month. 
Good luck. Good luck to me. Good luck to you with that eyeshadow. I mean, geez. You do not need to put that much on, okay? I mean, dang, you only need to do a little bit. And why did you put on those bigger eyelashes? It looks like you got tarantula legs on your eyelids. <laughs> Sorry. Guys, I am mature, okay? I'm a grown man. But yes, no, I will not be going into any bathrooms and I will not be looking in any mirrors anytime soon, all right? Hey. He's a ugly animatronic. Oh, black man. Uh, I'm gonna go myself. You don't know where I'm at, though. <laughs> right? Your neighbors must hate you. Making all this noise. <gasps> okay, <laughs> alright, that got me at the end. Do you understand how ridiculous you look right now, black man? <laughs> Jeez. You're getting that scared, and why does it say happy 21st birthday in the background? Congratulations, you 21 years old, you that old, and you screaming like that? Oh! Okay, that was different, because I, I, I have a condition. <clears throat> your drawstring on your shorts is sticking out, man. I mean, come on. Tuck it in like a gentleman. Nice guitar in the background, you jerk. These are scary haircuts to have in real life. <laughs> Part Sorry. The game is called The Picture Game, and it's Ugh. a paranormal game that allows you to take pictures of ghosts. Can't even look at that. To play the game, you will need at least two people and a phone with a flash. Then find an empty room and sit directly across from each other. No. Then turn off the lights and hold hands and say, I trust you to each other. Now say the door is open, please come in three times at the same time. Now open your eyes. Whatever wanted to come into the room is now in there. No, it's not. Now each of you grab your phone and take a picture of each other while saying, I caught you. Now do this three times each. Now both of you close your eyes again and say, it's time to go home. Turn on the lights ah, and then look at the geez. photos you guys took of each other. One of you would then see a ghost standing behind you and the other one won't. What is but that? the person that has the ghost behind them will experience paranormal activity for at least a week. Now, the ghost won't harm you at all, but it would do its best to completely terrify Get you. Get rid of that face! So, are you playing this game? Because I'm definitely not. No, I'm not playing the game. Wait, what do you mean you're not playing the game? You! Why the heck are you telling me about the game if you're not even gonna play it? With your Star Wars Rogue One poster in the background. I swear, I oughta slap the eyebrows off your face. Don't disrespect me telling me to play the picture game. Do I look like I want to see homegirl following me around my house for a week? This girl is cross-eyed. I can't tell if she's looking at me or if she's looking at that squirrel over there. Don't do it. Girl, calm down. Hello, motherfucker. That's your fault, okay? You keep walking right into the lion's den, walking right at the ghost. What the heck is wrong with this demon girl? I mean, gee, girl needs a chiropractor ASAP. Your neck is way over here in a completely different area code. What do you think this girl wants? Is she trying to sell me some Girl Scout cookies? Not gonna buy any, girl. I'm, I'm sorry. But do you have any of those, uh, those Samoas, the little caramel ones? Those ones are good. And you at the top, stop screaming. Next time you scream, I'll put a gun in your luggage. Oh yeah, when you go to the airport, you're gonna be getting cavity searched by a Ukrainian woman with a glove. Yeah. This is why clowns give me the creeps. This is why you give me the creeps. But it's for entertainment purposes only and it's not real. Once upon a time, there was this girl named Lucy. She was on her computer looking for scary stories. It was around Halloween time and she needed to write a story for a play. She was going to be the director, so she was really excited. She was just looking for some inspiration, you know. Lucy was looking for stories until 2 in the morning. I mean, why? Yeah. So looking up scary stories, it's going to be during the day, mostly. So anyway, this girly girl found a story that said, do not read this. And she was like, what does that got to do with clowns? But she was scary as, of course, we all are. So she read the story. The story talked about a guy named Louie who was brutally unalived. Then they dressed him up as a clown. They made him look like a doll, kind of, and left him in his room. And nobody found out about this until days later. Jeez. That's what the story kind of said. It was from Louis's point of view. And then at the end, it said that if she didn't send the story to 13 people, he would come for her on the 13th day and unalive her. 
But before he finally unalived her, he would haunt her every single day. To the point where she would want to unalive herself. I know, it's crazy. So it was a chain letter type of thing, you know. Uh, part two, I ain't getting a, no, girl. You gotta do all your story in one part. Talking about clowns, what, why? Whose idea was it to have clowns at birthday parties? Like, like, no. I mean, this girl could pass as a clown. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. In this horror game, you only have two choices: run or die. Oh, who well, are you? Your mama. Hello. Hello. Uh, you could literally just leave. Hello. Just exit. It's right behind you. Bro. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Crazy monkey, I mean, gee, what the heck? That's the face of somebody who knows he made a mistake. Next time, man, turn around and use the dang exit. That's what she said. But yeah, go ahead, click on the screen and watch another one. Yeah, man.